Hey guys, how's it going? Diddy Ryan here. So today I want to talk about hygiene at Reading and Leeds Festival. So basically, it's a question I get a lot. It's like, oh my god, do you not shower when you're there? Do you, do you not brush your teeth? And the first thing I have to say is, look, a lot of people don't shower when they're there. The, the que I've seen the queues for the showers and they are monstrous. And I don't really want a queue first thing in the morning with a load of smelly strangers for fucking like an hour. So it's baby wipes for me. I know that sounds disgusting and it is disgusting, but let me tell you, the majority of the festival do that too. So you're not gonna be on your own again. It's only for a few days, yeah? Worst case, you can, you can get your mate to pour a bottle of water over you in the camp. That's probably better than, than queuing up at six o'clock in the morning with a fuck off hangover with loads and loads and loads of people to go get in a shower with loads and loads and loads of people and, and then walk all the way back to your camp a bit wet with a, with a towel wrap around you. I'm not being funny that you know that it sounds disgusting. This is disgusting. I don't know if I should say this, but you know, being a bit unclean and that makes it that little bit bad. It's what the festival's all about. Do you know what I mean? All the Oh, I ain't too fresh, but it's okay because no one else is. Everyone is in the same shit heap as you are. You are not the only one that smells half B.O., half baby wipe fresh. It's just the scent of the festival, you know, and everyone does it, you got, you know, you just see, you know, girls that have just got too much Batiste fucking dry shampoo in their hair, so much that they couldn't even shake it out, so you're not sure if they've got a fucking silver highlight to their hair or they just don't know how to use dry shampoo properly, but that's just how it is. I've done a little bit of research online because I needed to try and find out if the showers were communal or not. And basically, all the articles that I found were like, yeah, you just don't tend to really shower. I don't really know anyone that does shower. There are people that do shower there, but I don't know the best thing. It's you just, you know, baby wipe for the weekend. It just seems to be the dumb thing. So don't worry, you're not gonna be judged for being a baby wiper. Oh, that's a bit weird. <laughs> but one thing I can say, because I've been asked this a few times, and the people that have asked me, I'm just sort of like, why did you ask that? Is, do you still brush your teeth at Reading Festival? Yes, of course, you still brush your teeth at Reading Festival. There is nothing to stop you putting toothpaste on a toothbrush and pouring a little bit of bottled water onto your toothbrush to brush your teeth. Don't be disgusting, for God's sake, brush your teeth. I mean, I, t I guess technically going to the toilet comes under hygiene, because as we all know, that those toilets are a disgrace, you know, there is just poo everywhere. Changing festival just for a moment, V-Fest in 2010, I actually, it was absolutely pissing down one night. So I was in the tent, my mate at the time, he was, he was asleep. Yeah, he had his sort of back to me, so I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna have a poo in this ice cream tub. I had a poo in the ice cream tub, in the tent. Uh, it's not my proudest moment, but I was 16, I let it go. I wiped with baby wipes, which to be fair, is a pleasure. It's always a treat, wiping your bum with baby wipes. And and that was it, I, you know, I had a poo and I stuck it outside the door. Uh, I'm pretty sure the next day, it was the night before like leaving in the morning, I'm pretty sure the following morning I, I booted it and the poo went everywhere. But, it, you know, it's just one of the things, you know, it's, if it's pissing down or you don't want to go all the way to the toilet, you could actually just bring a two-man pop-up tent for about 20 quid and have that as a designated camp toilet. Um, that would be, that would be quite a good idea, actually. I might do that this year. But yeah, so you got those options. But listen, like I say, the showers is not really a thing. I've never showered at a festival. So, as disgusting as that is, not many people really do. So I'll let myself off. Brushing your teeth is still mandatory. Don't be a fucking skank. And you can always have a shit in your tent if, if needs must. So that's about it really for this hygiene at Reading and Leeds Festival. I hope you enjoyed. What do you, you know, do you, if you've been before, do you shower? Am I just being like a bit fucking weird? Do you know, do you poo in your tent? And do you brush your teeth?
I hope you brush your teeth. For God's sake, tell me that you brush your teeth. But that's it, guys, for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really fucking appreciate it. You know I do. If you want to become a sponsor, I've got 63 sponsors now, and they all mean so much to me. They all support me, and they're all getting me closer to this full-time dream, which is, you know, at the end of the day, that is what I want to do as a career. If anyone can help me get there, oh, my God, I'll be eternally in your debt. But thank you so much. All you got to do at the end of the day is like, share, and subscribe. That helps me get there, too. But if you want to do that, go the extra mile, then there is the sponsor link down below. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.